We have an interesting data cleaning and transformation scenario before us. As you can see on my two windows, one of the data sets has years and quarters, but we have sales of items, which item happens to be electricity. And we have the company that is selling in the top. So we can say this is first company. When we toggle to the right, we have the second company, the third company, and then the fourth and the rest. And for each of the companies, electricity is being sold to different customer classes. And as you can see that the company name is only shown once, whereas below it we have customer classes. In our final transformation and clean data, we shall have all these units that are sold being showed in a single column. We shall have all these customer classes being showed in the one column. And then we shall have have the company name showed in one column. So when we filter, we can see that all our companies are there. And then we can see that all our customer classes are there. And we can also see that all our years are there. And certainly all our quarters are there. Marvelous. It wouldn't come cheap, but Power Query makes it come cheap once you get to understand the principles of Power Query. This data is resident on a website. The website is the Electricity Regulatory Authority, era.go.ug, and under statistics for distribution, we have energy sales per customer category. And then under it, there is a link that opens that spreadsheet. That link is what we harvest and automate our analysis. How does it get more interesting? Interesting. When this data is updated, you do not need to come and uh, redo the transformation and cleaning. You just need to go to your spreadsheet, click on the data tab that is refresh and you can just say refresh all and it will bring all the updates, including the years that have been added and the quarters. So let's get into it and see how to achieve this noble task in the marvel of Power Query. So the first thing we do is to go to the website of choice and we have this the link that hosts the data that we want to transform and clean. So if I'm on this website and I go to statistics, I go to distribution and I go to energy purchases, sales and losses, or I go to energy sales by customer category, and then I come and click on detailed statistics. Let's first see how that data looks like. This is my data and the worksheet where I want to have this data data is here called energy cells kilowatt hour. So if I close this, I know that I will be getting my data from this side and this is how I downloaded it. And so if I right click on this link and I copy link address, I will have harvested my link. If I go to Excel and I go to my power query under the data tab and I click gate data from other sources and I go to from web and from web, when my link opens and I go and paste my link there and I click OK. I connect. Now I come and click on this site. I right click and I click on Excel workbook and then it gives me the number of sheets that are in. Now the sheet I need is called energy cells. Let me get the table. This is how the table looks. Probably that's not the one I want. So I come back. Let me identify energy cells. Probably it's this one. Yes, this is the one I want. So I will come back instead of clicking on the sheet directly. I know that it is called energy cells underscore kilowatt hour. So I will come here on the item or on the name anywhere I want. I, I unfilter everything else. Then I come and and filter only energy cells kilowatt hour, which I think is this. Okay. And then I only need the column that has hosts my data. So I remove other columns and I expand the link. I do not want to use original column name as prefix. So I click OK. And this is how my data looks like. So now we are ready to do data cleaning and transformation in Power Query. When I look at my data, I realize that there are multiple titles. The first title is which has the company name and the next title is what has the customer category. And I also realize that there is a top row that has nothing. And I want to first eliminate that row. How do I do that? I just go to my home tab. I click on 
remove rows, top rows, and I want to remove only one row, so I will put one and click OK. Now, having successfully removed the top row, I also have a column that is redundant, which I want to remove, so I just come, highlight that column, and I click Remove by right-clicking. Now, having removed the unwanted column, now I need to, first of all, see how to deal with my data. I want to transpose my data such that I have these two columns merged, but before I do that, I have to first merge the year and the quarter because after transposing, I do not want to create the same problem of multiple titles because I want to maintain my year and quarter as identifiers of my data. So let me first merge them, then I'll go on to transpose. How do I do that? I come and click on the column that has year and the column that has quarter. I highlight them, then I right click and I choose merge columns. It asks me whether I need a separator. Yes, I need a separator. And for avoidance of confusion, the separator that I will choose is an equal sign. I don't need to create a name because I'm still manipulating the column and I click OK. Now having merged the quarter and the year, now I'm ready to transpose my data. And how do I do that? I go to the transform tab and I click on transpose. Now look at this. Let me go back to my step. So let me and do the table. So I go to applied steps and do the transpose. So I go to the applied steps and I cancel the transport step. Now you see that I have my column that has years and quarters being the first column, which constitutes the identifiers for the respective rows. Now I'd want to change that and it goes into the header. And then I have my company and customer type into the column. So I again go to the transform tab, click on transpose. We can see that now we have two columns, the first one and the second one being company and customer type. I'm not in a hurry to rename any column, so I first manipulate it. You can see that whereas I have the first company named, but I have different rows below it that are showing null. But I know from data formation that all these nulls that are below a company name correspond with this company. So what will I do? I'll just come and get this name and fill it down to the rest of the empty cells that are below it. How do I do that? I highlight the column and still on the transform tab, there is a command called the fill and I want to fill down. Marvelous. I can see that now my rows have been filled. Having filled those rows, what do I need to do? Because I would want to be able to have my quarters and years as respective columns. At this point, I am ready to have my quarters and years as columns in addition to having my company and customer type. So I will need to leave these columns the way they are, the two columns that are currently named column one and two, and then I will unpivot other columns in such a way that now I have my quarters and years in the same column. How do I do that? Having highlighted these two columns, I just right click and I go towards the bottom of my menu and I unpivot other columns. But before I do that, I have to first make these quarters as headers. Interesting. Power Query can do almost anything. At this stage, I just have to go and promote headers. So I will you go and use the first row as headers and the command has already been provided in Power Query. Hmm, it can't get more interesting. Under the home tab, I go under the transform group and I click use the first row as headers. I highlight the first column and the second column. I right click towards the bottom of the menu and I unpivot other columns. Hmm, can it get any better? Now, I need to identify years and I need to identify quarters. So I have a duty to separate them. Power Query has already provided a command for that. I highlight the column. Still under the Home tab, I click on Split Column and I want Split by Delimiter. I chose a delimiter very purposefully. The delimiter by which I want split 
is my echo signs, which is already selected here. And I want separate at each occurrence. And I click OK. Am I not ready to rename my columns? So the first column is company. The second column is customer, which is in effect the customer class. Yeah. The third column is a year. The fourth column is a quarter. The fifth column is my sales and kilowatt hours. So let me just call it kilowatt hours. These are units of electricity. Now, at this point, I would want to ensure that all my columns are in the right data type. To start with, kilowatt hours are in a data type called NA. And when you do not put it in the right type, you're going to face problems when doing analysis and report automation. So at this point, I would want to ensure that this is a decimal. The year is already a whole number and I don't want to change that. The rest are already text. So the only thing I have to change is kilowatt hour. I go to the home tab, data type, and I choose decimal number. General was showing ABC123, but when I come and convert to decimal number, it gives me a one point. Hmm. What else am I remaining with? Probably to name my query and load it. So my query is here at our cells. I can say from websites and I come and press enter. Now I go and load my data. Now I have finished preparing my data and I want to go to close and load and then i want to identify how i want to load this data close and load to i have many choices spoiled for choice but one of the three most important ones that you will always find yourself loading is either table only connection or you're also adding the data to the data model so i just want to create a table so i'll choose table and i want to put it in the existing worksheet i want to identify where so I choose to put it in B2. I click OK. Hmm. Hold your breath. Here we are. So for a data set that looked as shabby as... Let's look at how shabby it looks like. That looked as shabby as this. Where we have the multiple headers and with years and quarters... And then we had figures littered all across the interface of the worksheet. We now have the data in a smart format where we can come and analyze. We can compute how much was sold to a customer class and we can find the average sales. We can find which customer bought the highest amount, all that analysis. But most importantly, we have done it once and we shall never need to do it again. So if this data was to come and change and we introduce another quorum, that will be 2025 Q1, we shall see how our data gets transformed. But for now, let's enjoy the beauty of the data that we have transformed.